Don't call it on the air. What's your name and where you call it from? Zaya's house we uptown. Palmetto on a palmetto. Zaya's house we uptown. Stop it, that's not hot. Zaya's house we uptown. Oh, you think the wall is round when it's flat? Zaya's house we uptown. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of Zai's House. I'm your host, Zai007, and this handsome young man there is... Uptown. And now we're going to get to that, that question that was sent in. Um, a young lady slash old, old woman said that she overreacted. You know, her man's a stripper. She know, well, he calls himself a, a male adult exotic dancer. We like titles, I, you know, you a stripper, my man, but whatever, you know, we like titles, we all got them titles, so you like A penile engineer. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, a pollinator performer, right? I mean, whatever, no problem, we get it, he's a stripper, got you. And he does shows and all this stuff in the city, basically, and her girlfriend's booked him for a show. She found out later on about it, but when they booked him, they didn't really book him. I guess one of their friends booked him for, like, some somebody's birthday party. She found out about it through a mutual friend, and the woman that booked them, she, she and that lady do not get along. So she felt that her friends overstepped their boundaries. She said when she told her friends about it, they they brushed it off like like her feelings didn't wasn't like it didn't matter. Like oh please, no big deal. He's, that's what he do, and y'all making money. Do you you know why you care? But she do care. She doesn't like that female. That female doesn't like her. And what's the secret about book booking? When she approached him in the letter, she said, when she approached him about it, he liked your bag. Everything is business. I'm not getting, like, I'm not, this is business. I signed a contract already. I'm not, I'm not canceling this. She asked him to cancel. He was like, no, I signed a contract. It's totally done. Why are you worried about it? This is what I do. Now, does she have a valid point with the friends? Is she overreacting? Should the, her spouse, which is the stripper, not even do the stripper thing? He needs to get rid of her. Okay. Please explain that. a relationship. I mean, was he a stripper when she met him? Yes. And so, I mean, that's that's it right there. I did this when you met me. So how are you going to come in and tell them about, uh, uh, if you're going to be my woman and have my back and we like Bonnie and Clyde and you know I'm a stripper, if I tell you that I'm taking this, remember, I think it was last episode, I was talking about the first time I dated a young lady that was older than me, yeah. and guys would try to get with her, take their stuff and bring it to me. Right. It's the first time I had a, a, a woman did, yeah, I was dealing with young girls, you know, so when guys showed them some attention, they was wiggling and giggling. You know, she was just about that money. Mm -hmm. So, if that's her man and she's about her business like he's about her business, she should care less. She should be more than happy for him to go to that party. And he should charge her extra just for trying to be spiteful. You know, there's ways to, to handle your business. And she's not handling her business. She's becoming a, 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 a hindrance. Okay, let me, let me let me flip the coin a little bit, Zion. I hear what you're saying. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, but isn't shouldn't it be dumb to... Okay, yes, he was a stripper before she met him. Before they got together, he was a stripper. You're right. She met him as a stripper. Correct. What she's saying is that this is a, like an, an enemy, an arch enemy. Shouldn't That's it be? Wait a minute, Zion. You're going to make me curse. That's her mess. That has nothing to do. If I bake bread and somebody wants to buy some bread from me, I don't care less if you like them or not. I might charge them a little extra for the bread, but I'm in the business of selling bread. You know, you know, come in my store and say, I don't want you selling bread to these people. Who does that? Okay, I'm going to disagree with you, Zai, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? Okay. Because, listen, that's his profession. He's a stripper, uh, uh, a pollinated dancer. Got you. But it's a point that when you with your lady, it's you and your lady versus the world. Yes. And this is his business. But it, just because a contract comes through the door or a job comes through, you can't take every job sometimes. Yes, the money might be good, but... You have to say like, okay, it's kind of strange that her enemy books me for a gig. So now what it's about, it's bigger than this gig. It's about her 
trying to clap. Wait a minute, Zion. I'm sick of chicks. And I'm not talking about women. I'm sick of chicks and their enemies. Oh, hold on, Zion. I hate her. They go to the club and they want to start scratching. And oh, how do you hate another female that much? How does another female rent that much space in your head that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no problem, Zion. But listen, I'm just hold, help me out for a second. So now, as a man, if I'm the, the part of the dance, I have to look at it like. What she's trying to do now is just like clown my woman now. No, she's not. What was I? So I go to this, I do the job. Of course, she's going to be extra with it because she, you know, like, oh, this is such and such man. People can get very catty and, and it can be very catty. So I, I, I wouldn't take the job if I was him. She, know why I, she does not trust that man and she he needs to get rid of her. She don't trust her friends either because it was like. She's a, not in a relationship with those chicks. She's in a relationship with that man. It's just kind of strange that I, I'm sure he's not the only pollinated dancer in the city. Don't get me wrong. And people are in swingers and sit right in the room and watch sex. And he's not even having sex. You're going to pay me for me to beat you all across the face with my pollinator? Then right on. You're going to slip cash in my drawers for me to <laughs> throw you in the air and rip your blouse up and throw you on the floor and all that crazy stuff they be doing to those women? Then go right ahead. I, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm not going to say don't do it. Get that money. That's what we're here for. Get the money. We'll talk about it later while we're eating a meal from her money or I got the new bag from her money. I would go right back in here, babe. This is the money from the party. And then when you see her, tell her, thank you for these diamond earrings. I mean, so on. so one of your enemies, one of your male enemies that you had an arch rival with, hires your lady that's a stripper to do his gig. You wouldn't have no problem with it. I'm not going to have a woman that's a stripper. <laughs> that's not what you call that. <laughs> but if you do have a woman that's a stripper, it comes with the territory. Well, what you mean? Um, flower dancer. You're going to call her flower dancer. Go ahead. Nekad, ni sebe ne poznam, ogledam ko da ne gledam 
gledam i bjesnim ludim Volim mrzim dajem ali uzimam Kod mene nema fola, nema lažna tješka Moja savjest je čista, makar narav je teška Vjeruj daj drugom šansu, ne trg dobit ćeš isto Kad preispitaš sebe, vidjet ćeš bistro The love, the soul, the guts, I got it The box, the flow, the style, I got it The strength to believe and the power to succeed Carry the world about to the beat, I got it The love, the soul, the guts Hello, 201, you on the air? Hey guys, it's Lovely from New Jersey. How are you? Hey, how you doing, Lovely? Doing? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I just wanted to chime in on um, the topic that's going on here right now. All right, first, this issue um, that this um, particular couple is having, it starts with um, the boundaries that they did not set at the very beginning of their relationship. Um, when this man and this woman got together, she knew full and well um, exactly what his occupation was and how he made his money, which is fine. You know, um, it, you know that that's fine. People make their bread the way they make their bread. However, they should have had a conversation long before this booking occurred. Um, you know, set some parameters. What makes you comfortable? What makes you um, uncomfortable? What's going on here now is a conflict of interest. While money is good. Um, is your relationship a little bit better or more important than the money? You just can't take every single job that comes through um, the door at the detriment of um, a good relationship. So that's what I think. It had to have been discussed way before it got to the point where, you know, you booked something, whether it's an arch enemy or, um, uh, you, you know, you're working for um, a party or organization that, Maybe you don't support a lot of different things. I think that they should have just had a lot more conversation before it got to that point. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes. If if you had a, a business, say it was you were baking cakes. Okay. And you had a bakery and customers came and went. And you had a friend who had a friend and you had an enemy or however the situation is. And the person came in and said, I want to buy, buy a cake and your man had a problem with the guy who came in to buy the cake. Would you, do you think you and your, your significant other would have ever had a conversation about whether or not certain people come to the store that you're gonna sell them a cake? One, or two, if that person comes in the store, would you say, I don't feel comfortable with you being in my store and no, I can't sell you a cake because you know that your man doesn't like this person? Hmm. Well, okay, I have um, two responses to that. First, um, this particular issue is so petty, Zaya. I kind of hear you saying that um, would you have even talked about something that small and insignificant before? If that's what you're asking, I'm going to say um, no. However, <laughs> however, let's um, broaden that just a little bit. Suppose you were, um, you had this bakery, you, you had this cake selling business, and um, someone came in and they wanted you to make a cake for an event, an organization that you didn't support, let's say because you knew for a fact that, mm, I don't know, the donation they were getting, they were stealing money from the children. Now, if I was to tell, if I was to tell, you know, um, my partner, listen, I don't think that we should be making this cake for these people for that particular reason. Um, even though we didn't discuss that before time, I would expect him to sort of um, support that. Um, with something as petty as, oh, you can't make a cake for her or you can't dance for her because that's my arch enemy for whatever reason, I don't like her. Mm -hmm. That still merits some discussion because, um, you, you know, how close this person that wrote this letter in, how close are they um, to their partner? You know, um, how long have they been together? Um, what kind of conversations did they have before? Did he know that, you know, she, her and Keisha didn't get along? If yes, he, he knew. knew he knew. All right. He knew. Now, Everybody knew. Now, here's my answer to this. If he knew that 
this woman, these two women have had problems. He should have never, ever, ever booked that job. Just let it go. It's not worth it. A paycheck is just not worth ruining something that you have, especially when you know. It's just not. Well, so I right. don't think, I, I think that he probably thought all of that out before he decided to do it anyway. Of course he did. And you know what he decided? He decided my money is more important than your opinion in my relationship. So she should be really examining where they want to go from here. <laughs> you know, really. Where do you, where do you want to go from here? Yeah, I think he needs to get rid of her. I don't... I, 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 <laughs> I I've never been in a relationship with a woman that had an arch enemy. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. That, <laughs> yeah. that, that's a very loved woman. <laughs> Lucky you. You guys have a good night. All right. Okay, you too. Thanks. Bye-bye. But yeah, Zaya, um, yeah, people, I mean, yes, he knew, and that's why it was like a secret. The girlfriends knew, he knew, and they, like, they talked to him, to, that's one thing she had a problem with the girlfriends. This is how black girlfriends, and they talked to him directly. And, and now she's like, in the letter she said that she's looking at her girlfriends a different way, like, wait a minute. You, you know, like, if you want to book my man or whatever, my significant other for an event, why wouldn't you come to me and say, you think um, Pollinated Dancer would do a show on the 15th? You think, you know, you talk to him about that. Because man law, man law says that you talk to the to the husband about your woman baking cookies for a basketball camp. You, you just don't go to the man's wife and say, hey, yo, Tina, you want cook cookies for us? No. You go to the man. Hey, yo, Zaya, um, you think your wife wouldn't mind cooking cookies? On the 15th for the, the kids' um, choir. All right, let me talk to my baby girl now. You, you know, that's, it's like. Respect. Res there you go, Zion. They went straight to him. But, but. They and went, the they whole were, contract got done. They, they knew. They weren't asking for a favor. See, when you ask them about them cookies, you ask them for a favor. They weren't asking for a favor. This is business. Yeah, but they, I think business yeah. supersedes everything. When we have a relationship, we have an understanding. I sell spice ham sandwiches. And. Hey, anybody that comes along that wants a spice ham sandwich is gonna get one. Now, if it's somebody I don't particularly like, oh, we just marked the price up 10%. You know, and I'm gonna pay for your aggravation, but other than that, I'm not turning away no money. And she should have known that when we got into this relationship. Come on, let's okay. mess with Do you think the f her best friend should have came to her first? Or it was okay to like her ignore man her? man is in the stripping business. So it's okay for her best friends so uh, they never met the man before you know. It's not like he retired and they talked him out of retirement. He's in the business of taking his clothes okay, off. Okay so, okay, so good, good question. Hold on. So is it okay for them not to even have a discussion with their best friend and just bypass her and go straight to him and ask him to do the job? Well for their girlfriend. Is it okay to do that? This whole thing is twisted and sick. Because, like I said, how old is this person? person? He's like these people in their 30s. Okay, you're 30 years old and you have a woman that you hate. And this woman's gonna take time out of her busy schedule to book your man and your friends know, but they're not telling you that. Yeah. I know those type of people. <laughs> yes. And I don't hang around those type of people. It's 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 frivolous and it's senseless. That's not what I'm asking though. So like. my thing is, yeah, he should go strip. He should have slept with them while he was stripping. The friends is no good. They probably already slept with him. And she's stupid. So, I mean. <laughs> so, so, okay, so we can't even, I can't even, so I'm not, so you don't think that she, they should have came up? And said what? Listen, um, you think a uh, pollinated man would do a job on the 15th? What? I understand what you're saying about friends. Friends yeah. are cool, but friends are not the person that you're in a relationship with. No, but that's but I understand what I'm saying. They need so they came to her first and asked her. No, because he's in the stripping business. So forget about even telling her what's going on. Just bypass that's her. That's his business. He's in a relationship with her, and he's in the stripping business. So he could cut out all the middlemen and deal with his people. You know what? That's not his people. So. No, I'm talking about his woman. The one who's up in arms and hates people. Wants to fight people. Has arch enemies at 30 years old. Right. In her 30s, right. 
Well, it happens, Zaya. I mean, this is what it is. And I, listen, Miss Lady, let me say something. Yes, your friends are dead wrong. 100% dead wrong. They should have came to you and say, listen, you think pollinator man will do the job? And you like, do the job for who? Um, Miss female you don't like. What? Why does chick want to book my man? Oh, uh, well, this is what she said. Out of all the pollinator dancers, she want to book my man. Nah, we're not getting involved in Why? that. Why? Because she's doing it to try to clown her. How is she clowning? Sorry, because that's what, that's what people, men and women no, do. No, I'm saying is how my man is a stripper. Yes. The, okay, hypothetically, I'm a woman, my man is a stripper. I have enough confidence in this man that I'm going to make him as my man so I feel that he is good at what he does. Otherwise, I'd be telling him to get another line of work. Okay. Okay. Now, somebody wants to hire him to strip. It's her enemy. Her enemy. Yes. How is it clowning him? But no clowning her. How is it clowning her? Because she's only doing it to try to, to, to like it's one of them. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one on you. How is she paying him? She's gonna pay him, but when she get him to the event, she's gonna she's gonna have her and all her girlfriends say, "Yo, remember that heifer from Hundred 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 Street? Yeah. Or oh, that chick you was gonna like beat up, girl? Yeah, girl. This is her piece, really." You know what? I got twenty dollars. Come over. You know, now they're gonna do things extra. So, to so hopefully get more money. No, no, I was like, hold on. To get back to her to make her belittle her. It's this. It's this, It's a tactical move. And sometimes you can't get in as a man. If I'm a stripper, I'm not getting in. I'm the. I'm sorry. If I'm a pollinated dancer, I'm not getting involved in tactical moves to try to like dis disrespect my woman. I'm not getting. I'm not getting involved in that. I know what that's about. There's other, I'm sure there's going to be other gigs in the future. I don't have to take that gig. That gig is about like clowning my woman. Because all of a sudden, really, she wants to hire me. Out of all the party to party dancers, now you know what? I'm going to hire her man. Now I'm going to show her better than I can tell her. Yeah. We got another call, Zion. She don't trust her man. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. Ain't around on the track now. Yesterday was that yesterday. Yesterday this happened yesterday. Yesterday was that yesterday. So I'll be still arguing. But I'm gonna get money, money, honey, honey. Stack, stack, go. Fresh, fresh clothes. I was working on my life, baby girl, that's true. But when I think back, I'm not upset. I don't have you. Money, money. Stacks that go, bitchy, bitchy, women, women, fresh, fresh clothes. I've been working on my life, baby girl, that's true. But when I think back, I'm not upset, I don't got to. Working like a Harley, and you be working hardly. I be on my grass, you thinking I be at the party. Well, sorry, you never hear my side of the story. You snoring because you think that they lies and they boring. Yeah, I had to make corrections, so let's change directions. Making moves and investments, why you losing and stressing? At the end of the day, I was leaving you guessing. But since we single, I could find somebody more impressive. Two bottles of liquor, uh -huh. got a wine that's richer. Uh -huh. Mingle cause I'm single and I'm no longer with ya. I just realized that the girl I was with was an individual that I didn't get. Yes, but no, you told me, I know, it was me. Moving cause I'm cruising and I don't know where I'm gonna be. I don't know you wanna end this night, girl. But I'ma go ahead and take flight, girl. I'm gonna get Fresh, fresh clothes. I was working on my life, baby girl, that's true. But when I think back, I'm not upset. I don't have you. Stacks that go. Bitchy, bitchy, women, women. Fresh, fresh clothes. I was working on my life, baby girl, that's true. But when I think back, I'm not upset. I don't got you. What you say, yeah. What you say, yeah. What did you say? What did you say? What you say? Yeah. What you say? Yeah. What did you say? What did you say? What we do last night? God damn, I got a headache, but was we cool last night? And how we get home? I had a few drinks last night. I must have been wasted. What did we do last night? Alright, alright. I had one drink, give me no. Two drinks, send me. 
Look at the bottle, goddamn, it's half empty. When I think back, it was you that was rolling with me. We got into a fight, security had to get us. I'll tell you how I feel, cause I'm sober. You saying everything is lies and it's really over? It's cold in this world without you, I'ma get pneumonia. You can't tell me I'm in headlights where I can't hold ya, I know ya. We were so attached, cause we were such a match. It's crazy how you gone and I don't know how to react. I used to have your heart in my hand, matter of fact, I won't hold it, but you took it back. I think I was yesterday. I think it's yesterday, yesterday, it was yesterday, yesterday, it happened yesterday, damn, working on my life, baby girl, that's true, working on my life, baby girl, that's true, but when I think back, I kind of miss yesterday, it was yesterday, yesterday, it happened yesterday, yesterday, it was yesterday, Hello, 470, you on the air? Good evening, fellow. Good evening, how you doing today? I'm doing great. I just called a comment on that. I think that her friends, if they was really her friends, they should have came to her first. Because why would you book my man for somebody who can't stand me, who don't like me? Why would you do that? Come to me and tell me, and maybe I could sit down and talk to him, and maybe we can work something out. I'll be like, okay, baby, then charge him. Charge them more money. Since they want to be funny and high, you charge them more money. And, you know, maybe we can work something out. But just for friends, first of all, them not her friends. Because a true friend and a real friend wouldn't do that to her. So she has a problem with the friends. And since he's not, he's still going to do it. He's looking at money. He's not looking at her feelings. Because women, and I'm a woman, we are trifling. And we do stuff like that. So, um, like um, Uptown said, it's a lot of promenaders out there. Why you want to pick my man? Because you want to start something. That's a that's an argument. But on the other hand, and when she do, if she do come at me and say something, I say, oh, thank you for this, thank you for your money, because you know I just got this nice bag with your money, you know, or whatever. But it's it's gonna be a big mess behind all of that, and she really needs to choose and pick her friends because them are not friends. Okay, hold on one second. I mean, her, her, her friends did the reference. They didn't book her. Book her. Don't get me wrong. They did the reference. They were. That's my mother. Her enemy is also friends with her best friend. So they did the referral. Don't get me wrong. So I, I understand what you're saying. But hold on. Zai's going to ask you a question. You got it, Zai? I'm saying, how can your friends be friends with your enemy? That's what I want to know, too. That ain't, that's not a friend. You got to watch that. It happens all the time. People got mutual friends. I, I, listen, I got, I got, I know people as friends that I had to squash beef with two parties. I had to be a mediator for two guys who was going to get into it, but I still know both guys. So I mean, I don't never put them together. Don't give me wrong. If I'm hanging out with with A, I'm hanging out with A. If I'm hanging out with B, I'm hanging out with B. But I grew up with both of them. But they don't. They have their own personal issue based on whatever the issue. But I was a mediator for nobody killed each other. Yeah, I'm just like... So, Zion, I mean, it happens. Would you be in a relationship with a stripper? I was Hello? in a relationship with a stripper, but it didn't last. Oh, you was? Wait a minute. I, I had a question for you, really. How was that? Oh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't listen, we don't call it stripper. Sorry. I'll pollinate a dancer. <laughs> It was fine. It was fine for a little while, but after a while, it starts to get a little annoying. But wow. um, I went to I went to a lot of his shows and everything. But um, it's it's annoying after a while. So what made it annoying? Just the fact that I have never seen so many women that just don't have respect, or uh, because I'm a heavy woman. So it's like when I used to come to his shows, after the shows, you know, when he changed his clothes, 
here, come to me, and we'll be together. And, you know, they all sitting back, oh, what he's seeing her fat stuff? What he's seeing this? And it, 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 it gets tiring after a while, and it gets petty after a while. And, um, and I was like, are you going to stop this or what? So it was like, this is what he wanted to do, and he didn't want to stop it. So I gave him his space, and I let him do what he's doing, and I went my way. So you, so basically, had nothing to do with him. He was comfortable who he was. You couldn't take it. Yeah, it was annoying to me because he always wanted me to come to his shows. But after a while, it gets annoying. You know, you at a show, even though he, he, he's my man, you can sit to him and women every time you turn around, calling you out your name, and this is that. That's disrespectful, and it's, it's annoying at times. And I just couldn't deal with it. So I just said, you know what? You do your thing. I'm going to do mine. But it's so funny, nice. Zaya just said that business-wise. Yeah, it's, it's, it's business, and he wanted you there to support him, and he's not doing anything wrong, but I guess that that was it was you. It wasn't him. It wasn't even them. It was you. No, he did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. He respected me and everything. Every show, I was there. He wanted me at the show. I was there when the money was thrown on the stage and all of his or whatever when he came out that money came to my hand but it's just the pettiness of the women after a while you can only take for so much and i'm not going to be in nobody's club fighting every time somebody says something it's just the pettiness but we're still friends we still talk to each other we still you know but we just not together okay do we give you a dollar every time you need it <laughs> 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 a handful of dollars. <laughs> if I were ask him for something, he will give it to me, but I really don't ask him. Okay, okay but thanks for calling it. <laughs> well, have a nice night. <laughs> okay, you All right. too. All right. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. She she couldn't even handle it. We got another call, right? Hello, 646, you on air? Hi, guys. Hey, how you doing? All right. Well, I'm calling in to talk about her friends or her so-called friends. Now, let me make sure I'm hearing it right. Uptown, you said that her, it wasn't her friends that wanted to get the guy to dance. It was her, in, it was their friends, the, the woman's enemy? Yeah, it was a, a, a girlfriend's friend. Like, um, back in the day, she had a little problem with this female. They always wouldn't click. They all used to be together back in the days. But you know how, like, two females get into a big fight and then they have a falling out and they don't speak no more? Okay. Yeah? All right, but, you know, like, it's almost like, say you got two friends and both of them get into a fight and you're the mediator, so you break it out. They decide not to speak to each other no more. You're still friends with both parties, it's just that... You just don't get together no more. But right. But enemy. were you aware? Were the other friends aware that the girl with the stripper boyfriend? What am I trying to say? Like I'm trying to say, was they was they were they aware that he was going to dance for them, and they were keeping that from the other girl? They, listen, they was aware of everything. What they did is that they knew their girlfriend was having a party for somebody, and they needed a stripper, and this guy. Um, you know, he and they referred and, um, this woman's man in the yes, state, and, and she, right, then they, those are not her friends, absolutely not. They referred them. The, the female asked about it, the, um, the enemy asked about, what's up with pollinated dancing? I know he strips, he got a stripping group, you know, whatever. Yo, ask what he do my party. So they asked him directly. He was like, yo, bet, what date, what time is this contract going, let's get this money and do it. But they never told the girlfriend about it. The girlfriend finds out from a mutual friend that's, you know, you know how it is. The party set up, the fly is out, and all of a sudden, um, Pauline the Dancer is doing it. Wait a minute. That's so-and-so's party. That's um, Miss Enemy's party. What's going on? How did she even know my man? Only person she, who told you? Oh, well, you, um, your girlfriend, your BFFs told me about so and so wanted a job and I took it and blah 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 blah. And then she said her girlfriend's like, Yo, what's up? Oh, I know we just told him, no big deal. That's your money, girl. And that was the whole issue. 
Oh, okay. Well, if they knew that she would be offended by it and they still referred him, then I would not consider them my friend. Secondly, um, I think that they should have had a conversation about this prior. I mean, when you have a man that's a stripper, certain conversations should be just normal conversation. And one of them is, you know, you need to set boundaries. And I don't think they had boundaries. And maybe because he didn't really look at her as someone that he wanted in his future. Maybe because, like Zaya said, it's his money and that's separate from, you know, from their relationship. But either way, she needs to look at those group of women because you always got to look at women sideways, I'm sorry. And she needs to look at her man kind of sideways and kind of step back and see if he's really who, who you know, she needs to be with. Okay, quick question, quick question. Um, you said look at women sideways. What do you mean by that? Um, you know how y'all said you um, trust people as far as you can throw them? Well, that's basically anyone, but sometimes women, as the other caller said, can be very catty. And so you just can't trust them 100%. I have been blessed with great friends, but for the most part, a lot of women are very catty and they're very en envious of each other for no reason, like Zaya said. And that's just the nature of women. I'm sorry to say that. Very few women can be as confident in themselves so they, they're not intimidated by the next one, but most women are very catty. Then they do have underhanded stuff. Like that to try to get back at you. So it could be that oh she got a man she thinks she's all that. Oh okay, so I, um, let me show her what I can do. And that's just how women are. And I hate to say it. Have you ever dated a stripper? Um, I am a stripper. Just kidding. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, wow. I have a dream. I'm, 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 I'm gonna book you for an event. So have you ever <laughs> run into a problem like that? No, because, I mean, also you have to know what you can handle. I personally do not think I would want a man as a stripper. That's my piece of meat. He's for me. I do not want his stuff on display. That's me. Somebody could be more confident, and that's great for them. For me, that wouldn't be a comfortable relationship for me. But if I chose to be with a stripper, I would understand we got to do whatever we need to do. So if we're not hard up for the money, then yes, baby, you need to cancel that job because it offends me. Because at the end of the day, it is me and you against the world. So for me, if we would have had a conversation, I would have said, okay, you need to do what you need to do. At least come to me and say, listen, we're trying to buy this house. We're trying to buy this car. So I know you don't really like these people, but this is what we're going to do. We need to have a conversation about that. But the fact that he didn't feel that she was important enough to consult, I think she should keep it moving. That's just my opinion. Okay. I mean, I understand what you're saying. That's, that's a good thing. But um, let me ask you something. Um, you're a stripper. That's a beautiful thing. But do you think that everybody in their career, Zaya and, and Cora, in their life, when they at work and they're making a uh, business decision for their career, their job, so they call home and say, should I work Saturday, should I work Friday? I don't think people do that. He made a okay, business decision see, based on his job, right? I think a lot of people do that at work. Oh, can you stay three hours at work today? Uh, all right, no problem. But they don't make, they don't call home first and say, wait a minute, let me call my wife and see can I stay here? I mean, that was a business decision. I'm being devil's advocate right now. Got you, but see, this is the difference. This is what I'm saying to you. Um, we had a discussion. We need to do what we need to do to make ends meet. We're trying to buy this house, right? So you're going to stay at work. You'll call me after the fact, babe. I said I'm going to stay for three hours because, you know, we need to make that money. That's fine. Of course, you made the decision when your supervisor came to you to tell you are eligible for overtime. You said yes. But out of respect for what we have, after that, you would have called and said, babe, listen, I'm taking three hours of overtime. I see you when I get home. And because we have a communication that most people don't have in their relationship, I'm going to say to you, okay, sweetie, I'll see you when you get home, and that's it. That's, that's the bottom line. But people are not having conversations. Yeah, you know, so that's the problem. Had he taken the job and came home and said, listen, babe, I know you don't like A, B, or C, but we got things we need to do, and I'm about to get this money. Me as his wife, girlfriend, whoever I am, I understand that it's a bigger picture. So I'm going to say, you know I don't like her. Don't play me, but do what you got to do to bring the money in the house. So it's just everybody's perspective is different. That would have been my perspective. Okay. Mm. I just think that um, I, I do the, uh, what I call it, the Chinese restaurant theory. I mean, they don't live in the hood. 
you know, probably don't particularly care for 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 black folk, but they stay in the hood 12 hours a day, serving people food that they don't even eat themselves. <laughs> so, you know, it's it comes with the territory. If I'm a stripper. I strip. I don't draw the line. Anybody who wants me to take their clothes off for them, I, I, I'm going to do it. And if I'm going to get in a relationship with somebody, it's going to be with somebody who can deal with that. And, you know, you can't right. have all my customers. The customers are always right. right. To conclude today's sermon on love, I'll return to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Where Paul says it precisely. Love suffers love, and love is kind. Love does not envy, and most of all, love never fails. I love you like a newborn in a mother's arms. You're a new bride in a mother's arms. You give me new life in a dozen songs. Since you and I, baby, sing along. Sing along, you and I, baby, sing along. Sing along. I love you like a newborn. Way out my way out, I can't find I pray and pray that I make right Make right this best that I made life Take mine, but the loss would hurt mine Never mind, I'll stay in FaceTime Take time, won't quit till the space shines Place my thoughts in the daylight Daylight, give me hope again to keep me going in Look, I'm losing wind and I'm cruising in This place that I don't like Don't like this place, I'm up all night All night, a heartless dark mind Baby, but your love can spark mine Baby, but your love is sunshine Baby, but your love is sunshine We'll get to ZSA before we get to the other topic. Okay, and for those of you that don't know ZSAs, it's funny, I'm looking. <laughs> hey, PKs, how you doing? Uh, ZSAs are Zaya's House Service Announcements, not to be confused with public service announcements. It's part of the show, myself and brother Uptown talk about topics that we're passionate about. But it's not official until I sing the ZSA song, and it goes a little something like this. It's ZSA time with Uptown and Zaya. It's CSA time, we're gonna take you a little dramatic pause. Higher, and on that note, Brother Uptown is gonna uh, share his CSA. 
Okay, okay. My ZSA is a Super Bowl edition. You know, I had a big Super Bowl party and everybody wasn't invited. A beautiful thing. And um, just some of the fellas that came to the Super Bowl party. Listen, don't bring your Tupperware to the Super Bowl party if you're the guest. Mm. We supply the food, eat. When, it, when, it, when the Super Bowl's over and we say, fellas, take some food with you, then you do that. Don't bring Tupperware. Mm. All right, that's tacky and nasty. I'm not with that. I had to curse people out about that. They come in the door and start making stuff to take. To go. So when they party. first get there. Yeah, I it, hate it, that. it ain't hot. Don't do it. I went. Also, don't accidentally bring your family to eat. That a guy that came there, a friend of a friend. Hey, yo, man, you got a lot of food here. You listen, you mind if I bring my, I want to phone my wife and the kids, maybe we can come. No, listen, my man, no. This is my, this is my, um, this is my castle. You know, you can't bring your wife and your kids. This ain't dinner. This ain't Shoney's. This ain't the, the, the IHOP. This ain't a buffet. Okay? No, you can't do that. I tell the bully that. It ain't hot. You know? If you bring your own drinks to, to donate, you know, some people have got pride with them, Zaya. Oh, I don't want to come empty handed. Here's a 20 ounce soda. A what? A 20 ounce? For me to keep this. No, no, no. I don't want to come empty handed. This is a 20 ounce soda. Okay, no problem. Then, um, listen, y'all didn't drink that soda. You might as well take that back for me. Yo, come on, my man. That's it. He's going to take it to the next Super Bowl Listen, this is a 20 ounce soda. You want to take it back with you? And of course, me like a sucker, yo, man. Take, take your soda back, man. Nobody cares about that. So don't bring that to, and it's not just a Super Bowl party. Don't go to anybody's event, and they may supply the food and the entertainment, and you bring a bottle or something and say, can I bring that back? Yeah. Unless they tell you, listen, I don't want this in my house because I'm on a diet. You know, some people, some people tell you that. No, 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 take all the food, y'all. I did. That's different. Nice. But don't just volunteer to take the food back. It's not hot. Don't do it. And, and, and I'm going to clown you out. And I'm very good at that. You know? Also, don't come to the Super Bowl party talk about, oh, y'all doing this next week? No, my man, it's over. <laughs> what are we doing this next week? Come on, man, this ain't a soup kitchen. This is this, this not a soup kitchen. Don't do that. All right? Not hot, okay? We're going to the church. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't be around a bunch of men, kids, and say, do you mind if I light up and smoke here? Smoke where, my man? I mean, right here. I'm just, listen, you don't see these kids on the side? You don't see these grown men, these older cats, the 60 year old men here? Yo, my man, you gotta do that outside. Oh, but it's cold out there. I don't care what you do with it, my man. <laughs> smoke it, man. Then don't do it. Don't ask him, you know, you can't do it here. You're not getting involved in that. Don't do it. You know, it's incredible. You know? And last but not least, don't say, yo, you think about have a party here next week? Yo, know, this is this is our men's club. Don't you can't have your own personal. This is not this is not your personal community center. Don't ask me, can you throw a party here? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Just, just be humble and be and eat, be merry. And that's my ZSA for me to you. My Super Bowl edition, incredible. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> can he have a party here next week for Lil Ray Ray, his son? And no, man, what's wrong with you? That's what people do. I mean, you can't knock them for trying. You can't knock them for trying. I don't like nobody for trying. You know? Thank you very much. This is informative as always. Oh, my CSA. I was watching the Long Ranger and Tonto the other day. Whatever do you mean, Zion? Ah, oh, it. You remember back in the book? Well, you're not quite as old I remember, as I, I, I remember but that. you remember all of these? The Brady Bunch, Lone Ranger, the um Leave the Beaver. Yeah, you can say Leave the Beaver. But there was certain like Tarzan, there was a Long Ranger, there was the Little Rascals. There were certain shows that were really, really racist yes. back in the days. And a lot of the shows were uh, uh, self information for young Caucasian kids. They had the super this, the super that, they could fly through the air, they were genies, they were flying nuns. And black kids was, you know, there was nothing for that for them to identify with on TV. But, but as far as, exactly. And <laughs> I was remembering some of the uh, uh, Little Rascal episodes that I saw when I was a kid. And they were, some of the things they said, 
would fly right over my head, you know, as far as, um, but when I got older and I watched the episode, I was like, wow, that was really racist. So I think that um, a lot of these stations are coming back out with these old shows that used to be back on back in the day. Right. And a lot of the shows that are being made now, movies or either a vampire that's got superpowers or a zombie that got superpowers or werewolf or something, but they're not us, you know, or predominantly us. The only thing that I think that we had was, was it Damon Wayne's, what was that thing he did? Well, he was a- uh, Blank Man? Blank Man. Uh, Robert Townsend, what was the one he did? Meteor Man. Meteor Man, which was corny. And then you have- I like Meteor Man, okay. And then you have Blade, who get paid his taxes and ended up in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he told me to tell y'all from now on, he wants to be addressed as Shank. <laughs> but um, um, we, we, you know, we need to pay attention to them. Uh, Will Smith and his wife and Jay-Z bought the rights to Little Orphan Annie. Right. They've been trying to get it for years. They wanted Willow to play this part, but she's too big now, so they got another young lady to play the part. And that's a start. But I mean, the the, the, the actors, the, the actresses, the directors, and everybody needs to get out there and, and well, I can't say the actors and the actresses, but the directors and, and the producers, the people that are putting up the money, the, the, the people of color who care about our children should, um, you know, uh, Start thinking about having those uh, positive affirmations for young uh, children of color, you know, instead of it being uh, those reality shows where they go to the restaurant and curse each other out, throw water and drink to each other's right, faces. Right, right, right. We need some, I don't, some fantasy, you know. We need that guy that can pick up a car and throw it through space, like uh, Will Smith in that movie, the Hancock, which was a terrible. A movie because it was a black drunken superhero who finally got himself together because uh, the white man helped him. Man helped him. Showed him, and he had a white girlfriend. Told him to go to jail. <laughs> go to jail and, and get himself <laughs> together. It was like, and then he was found that he was in love with the white woman that helped him tame yeah, himself. He lost that it and the white woman when they got together, he lost his powers. He lost his powers. <laughs> black kryptonite. <laughs> Very oh, yeah, man, and listen, we're not saying this to be like you know, like <laughs> like race or something. Love who you want to love, but understand this type of character. Will Smith was a black superhero that was a drunk, <laughs> didn't want to help people, right? It was no, a no, no. no. He, he he wanted to shove people's heads of other people behind. Yes, we had to go to the white man fixed him up, put him in prison. Then finally he got out and because 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 he put him the right no, way. No, no, you forgot the part. The little white kid. It's oh, the, the white kid helped him out, right, kid. right. And then the white wife that he was in love with, he did it for her and all that. It, it, it's kind of like it's, it's more fun. Why couldn't he just be like the Hulk and just tear stuff up? Why you gotta get you know? But you know, that's my point is that we need to have <laughs> these positive role models on TV for our children. Oh, and I know you like Mr. Ed and I know you like the Night Rider and all of those shows, but those are the same shows that make you think a kind of way, you know. And I think that uh I mean, it should be a little of everything, but not too much of one thing. So watch what your kids watch, watch what they do on a computer and, and Make your kid take a sport or an instrument or something. Very informative, Zion. Very informative. Okay, thank you very much. And it doesn't cost that much to take a lesson. They can take one lesson a month and then they can uh, uh, brush up on the internet. There's a lot of stuff for any instrument. Anything you want to do, you can find on the internet. On the internet, there's no reason for anyone to be stupid nowadays. I can't understand how people are stupid. And listen, I'm trying to start my own business coming up here. I'm trying to get things finalized. It's called Rented Dads. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that hard right now. So all the single mothers that don't have no father figures, you can rent me and I'm gonna have a team of uh, qualified applicants that, that work under me and they they have no criminal record and you can rent us. And um, we'll come out and do all the father things. We're coming to you to bar mitzvahs and, and baptisms and 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 um, pookies and June bugs, barbecues, and we'll play the role. We'll fake the funk for you don't have to. Right. 
Renadads. I've been and Zion, I've been working this for a lot of uh, for a minute now. I'm getting things finalized. I'm trying to get a Renadad program. You can just rent rent me or my staff, and we're going we're going to get it going. I'll let you know when it's up and running. Renadads. And you can rent a grandfather too. <laughs> <laughs> Once they get up and running, it's time to be grandfather. But listen, right. bring your parents. You know, you got to bring your parents to school. Yes, I'm doing fathers and daughter dance. Listen, I, and I'm and listen. I'm, I'm, so you know, when I get it up and running, I'm going to give a lot of discounts for all the people that started. And I'll be the I'm a perfect dad for everybody. Everybody. I mean, I I, I, I can I sharpen up. I dress up nice, and I I, I play catch with your kid football. I play sports, so I know it. I know bad. I know everything. So, Renadads, when it comes out, I let y'all ladies know, and you can just, all single fathers that so busy running around chasing tail. Yo, you can rent me, man. You go with your little chick to the Bahamas or Puerto Rico or Aruba for three weeks or whatever. I, pay me enough money, I, I'll save what you get. You know, Renadads, you know? We fake the funk, for you don't have to. You are now rocking with the best. Yeah, seen Bay Boogie Man Sound System. I come together and solve the dilemma, no problem. Preservation, this generation rules the nation. We first on this is Dilla, exclusive. This is Dilla, Dilla, Dilla. Sunshine, round, sunshine, school face. I told this color rabbit, red, cool, main state. Ancient namesake, four finger nameplate, big front dead serious. We Wheel out, wheel out. Oh gosh, everything squash, lick off a man, eyelash, car crash, exclusive, y'all seen me, Dilla, 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 Dilla. Turn the music up one time, turn me up in the hash too. Round and round and round it goes. Round and round and round it goes. Just y'all school face, a tortoise color rabbit, red roof, mainstay. Ancient namesake, four finger name. Big fuck, that serious come game day, babe. Let's get it, we got it. It's cooking, it's popping. We dipping, we popping. No beef, no chicken, no piglet, no possum. Pomegranate, watermelon, but orange, gorgeous. Solo, black boy, leader of the chorus. Artist, medium is extra enormous. Space, theme, dynamic pilot, styling. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. Let's get it in, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. Queen. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. We get the win, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. Sunshine, screw face, dynamic palette, styling. Get your fresh folks, linens in your women's out. Get your linens in your spinners in your swimmers out. Last spirit present in a human uniform. Beep, beep, too sweet, use your horn. Clear level peak service, break traffic jam. Super rare, super mad, classic ram. See your grace, take a taste, walk with me slow, settle in, fly away. Share with you with a wise one, let me know. You can feel the heat, but don't sweat it though. Break the eyes when wide and tight, let it go, get both shade, light, dynamic palette, style Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. We get the win, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. Let's get it in, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it in. Sunshine, school face, sunshine, school face, school face, school face. Round and round and round it goes. Round and round and round it goes. Go. We'll talk about that later on. <laughs> <laughs> You run a big daddy too. <laughs> <laughs> big poppy. Poppy Chulo. Yeah, no, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting that in order. And Zion, let me say something. And, I, and yes, I'm talking in the hood because I know it, they need it. There you go. They need rent man. You can just go from apartment to apartment. Well, my next appointment is next door at the Santiago's. <laughs> Gotta brush up on your accent. We get ready to get out of here. On that note, I'm gonna say booty doop to you and yours in peace. We out. Hello, Coley, you on the air. What's your name? Where you calling from? Zaya's house, up town.
pollinator on a pollinator. Giant's house in uptown. Stop it, that's not hot. Giant's house in uptown. Oh, you think the wall is round, but it's flat. Giant's house in uptown. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Do you like it?